Today we're taking a look at the Mariva Shotgun by Rock Island Armory. Stay tuned and check it out. Welcome back to Primal Tactical. I've got a treat for you guys today. Check this out. This is the Rock Island Armory Imports Mariva 12 gauge shotgun. This thing is really sweet. It's actually made by a company called Daria in Turkey. Yes, it is a Turkish gun, not American made, unfortunately. I know a bunch of people do prefer American made guns, but sometimes quality can be found elsewhere. So a little bit about Daria. They're a Turkish company, hence why it's from Turkey. They've been in manufacturing since 1998, and they make some pretty awesome guns. So, so enough about the manufacturer, let's go into the gun. It's got a three inch chamber and it has been proof tested. Now that's something that you don't come across a lot of, or at least I haven't personally come across a lot of in firearms, is proof testing. So what they do is they take an overpowered shell, one that's not made for this rifle, and it's meant to blow them apart. They will take it and they will actually fire it, inspect the weapon, and if it holds together and it is good, then you know uh, they, they send it out the door. So. Personally, that's not something I see much of in firearms anymore is proof testing, but because it's done, I personally like it. So a lot of people are calling this thing a three-in-one shotgun because it comes with your normal butt stock like every other shotgun out there. It comes with an 18-inch slug barrel. <laughs> I couldn't get the words out. I couldn't find the words for it. it comes with an 18-inch slug barrel on there. The cool part about it is you take the cap off of here, pull your barrel out, you now put on the 26 inch, if I can get it on here correctly, give me a second. Put on your 26 inch barrel. And now you're ready to go hunt some birds. Check this thing out, look at it, look at it. You got your fiber optic sight there on the front. Oh, this thing is a beauty. So now that you got your 26 inch barrel on here, you can go hunt some birds. You've got choke tubes in the end of it. Comes with three of them. You're full, you're modified, and you're improved cylinder. I think I believe, I think I believe, yeah, because, you know, English is my strong point. I've got the full choke in here now, but I'm not here to shoot anything with a choke. I'm here to send some slugs downrange and see what we can do. Before I forget, it also comes with a pistol grip. So you can take your buttstock off of here. You can throw on your pistol grip and you can turn this thing into a really awesome combat shotgun. Granted, it's gonna still be a little bit long, but any shorter than that, you're gonna have to register it as an SBS. And the other nice thing about the shotgun, it is marine chrome plated, which means that it is mostly weather resistant. I say mostly because there's nothing completely weatherproof out there. Nothing that I've found that holds up to it very well, but you can take it and get it out in the rain a little bit you can drop it in the dirt a little bit it's not gonna hurt it that's what i like about it and this thing is extremely lightweight fully loaded it weighs in about six and a half pounds that is the lightest shotgun that i've ever held in my life before the one fear i have about that is it's going to kick more because there's not enough weight to counteract that recoil on that so we'll see what happens could just be me personally but it kind of looks like a remington 870 here in the body and then they took parts of a Mossberg and stuck it all on here. Kind of getting the best of both worlds, I guess you'd say. So let's go ahead and send some rounds down range and see how she performs. So the first one I'm gonna load up here is a two and three quarter inch bird shot. Since it is my first time actually firing it, I don't want to go too big yet. So let's see what it does. Pretty fun. Actually not too bad on the recoil. I don't know why that didn't eject. Hmm. Now it's time to go bigger. I'm just kidding. We're gonna load up three more of these things first and play around with it a little bit. I forgot I have the, uh, what do you call it, tube limiter? I don't know, I don't hunt birds, so don't really ever have this thing in there, but it's stopping me from loading up three. So. Now we're good to go. Woo, I think I found my new favorite shotgun. Now we can go bigger. So I pulled my round stop out of here because I'm not shooting birds, I'm shooting steel. So, meh. Third up 
because you got to load these things in backwards. One ounce slug. Then I have double op buckshot, three inch shell. I'm having to read this as I'm kind of going around because whatever. I've only got one of these rounds, so I better get it right on the first shot. And then two or three quarter inch bird shot. I want to see what the differences are in recoil. And you can watch me hurt my shoulder today. Fire the hole. Note to self, not a slug gun. Oh, well, it is a slug gun, but woo, <laughs> I'm gonna be feeling that one. So, uh, because of the lightweightness of it, still smoking up the barrel. I will say that because it is so lightweight, it does not handle recoil that well. The uh, sissy pad on the back side here does help a little bit, but it's still like getting kicked by a mule. If you ain't never been kicked by a mule, I don't advise trying it. Went ahead and put the 28 inch barrel on here with a full choke in the end of it. Just want to see how it runs any different because, you know, it's a new toy. I get to play with it. All right, let's see what she'll do. Very beautiful. I tell you what, if you were bird hunting or you were skeet hunting, buy this gun. This thing is a lot of fun. I'm going to be out here burning through boxes of shotgun shells all day. Looked in my goodie box of ammo and I found some federal rounds that are a little bit old. Might as well shoot them. Might blow my face off. Who knows? It's part of the fun. Right hole. Man, this thing is a blast. I Forget the video, man. I just want to shoot. So, moral of the story. I personally love this shotgun. I came out here to make a video review about it. I started shooting it, and I completely forgot about making the video. This thing is just a whole lot of fun. After an entire day of shooting, though, you're going to have a hurting shoulder. Without a doubt. It's, it's extremely lightweight, and because of that, the recoil on it is a little bit more than most other shotguns. I can go on and on about this rifle, or this shotgun. <laughs> I can go on and on about this shotgun, but it is just, there's too many good things to say about it. I love it. It's amazing. Just definitely try and get a hold of one. You'll love it. I promise you that. So last but not least, for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and shoot another slug. It's going to kill my shoulder. Why do y'all make me do these things? You talk me into it. I've got loaded up. Two bird shots, and the final one's a slug, so let's... Let's do it. Ready. Fire in the hole. Oh, there's one. There's number two. I'm already grabbing this. Holy crap. Whew. Let's go see what that slug did to it. Oh, that recoil on that slug is, it's bearable, but goodness gracious. Oh man, would you look at that. That put a good dent in my steel target. I need to repaint it now. There's there's no nothing. No. Well, that's just great. Yeah, that slug put a nice dent in there. I don't know if you can see that. The camera makes it pretty flat. No bolts though. It's not bent. Well, actually. Let's get on the back side of this thing here. Yeah, it did. Got a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little bit of paint coming off the backside here. So it did put a small bulge in the backside. I guess it's, I guess it's not made for a slug at uh, about 25 yards. My bad. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop making the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep shooting this thing. So I hope everybody has a great day. God bless. And we'll see you all next time.
strange.